Hello guys, my name is Austin and welcome back. We're going to continue to work on our website today. We have quite a bit more to do and I'm going to see what all we can get in today. Right off the bat, you'll notice that I may sound a little different. I got my microphone in today and I am really excited. It is going to allow me to create uh, much better videos. The audio quality is fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we are going to work on setting up that uh, popular websites list that we had in Photoshop and then that big number over there that was going to display stuff like that and we may get into the footer and just depending on the speed we may uh, we may finish up today I don't really know I have some things to do later but not too much uh, in the way at the moment so we should go ahead and get started this is what we left off with last time, and uh, if you've not been caught up, uh, we have logo, navigation, this stuff up here, blah, 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 and these four columns for our features. HTML looks just like that, and the CSS looks like that. We're using the 960 grid system from 960.gs. We designed it in Photoshop using the 960 PSD. So everything is coming together nicely. Let's go into the index page and start writing up our markup for the next part of the website. We're going to use another section tag because this is another section. And I apologize if my keyboard or mouse uh, gets picked up in the microphone, I'm sure it will, because this microphone is, it picks up any audible noise there is, and I can't really think of a way to fix the keyboard and mouse problem, because they are as close to the microphone as I am, so, <laughs> I mean, if I cut them out, or cut me out, I've got the gain turned down as low as I can go with, um, with me still speaking normally because my computer isn't too far away so I kinda had to adjust for that but this microphone is just it is ridiculous I love it so far we'll see how it turns out but anyway back to what we were doing so we have a section tag set up and inside of that we are going to uh, well actually let's apply a class to this first so class equals and we're going to give it a grid of six and add a, another class so we can modify this Oop, I'm typing modify, I'm typing what I say <laughs> popular websites and then inside of that I'm going to add an h2 tag because this is the second title on the page the first being save a website for later with a single click now when using headings you kinda just want to think about how you want your website to be prioritized like at the moment this is the most important line on the page and that's that's good because just save a website for later with a single click that is the tagline for the website pretty much the second most important thing on the page I don't know why but it's just how this website's turning out is going to be uh, popular websites like if I had a title for the feature section that said features or something like that that may be the second most important thing but in this case, this is definitely the most, uh, or the second most important thing. It's going to say most popular websites. And below that, we're going to use a horizontal rule. Because if you remember, within the Photoshop document, I had that line that expanded the uh, six, or that expanded, that spanned the six columns. So we're going to just use HR. And we can style that using CSS. We'll go over that in a little bit once we get there. And below that, we're going to use an unordered list to list the websites that are the most popular. So we're going to use list items. And inside of these list items, we would have links to the websites or something like that. Again, this is all made up fantasy websites. So, uh, nothing really like it's you know it's not important how stuff works and that would just be a dummy link for now or forever I don't really know and to say that the most popular website <clears throat> excuse me on this uh, website is like Mashable 
it's a very popular website. Then I could have the tagline. There's just, it's like social media news or something. I don't really know. And then we would uh, just copy and paste this a couple times. And if I hit Control S, come into the browser and refresh. <laughs> that's what we get. And that looks awesome, doesn't it? Looks amazing. And I used grid six, didn't I? So I keep thinking I'm using a 12 column grid, even though I've never used a 12 column grid. So I don't really know why I'm thinking that, but simple fix. So now what we have to do, you'll notice we have to push this down off of the feature columns. We have to get rid of these bullets. We have to style these links and we have to style the HR. All that's really simple stuff. Once you have the uh, mock-up set up, or the mock-up, the markup set up. So we're going to say uh, hmm, popular websites. And I'm going to add a margin to the top of 70 pixels just to keep it consistent with that margin. Control S, F5, there we go. Now right off the bat here, well not right off the bat, we've been off the bat for a while, haven't we? Um, so continuing on here, I guess, I would want to come up here and add a color to all the H uh, tags, all the heading tags, making it hmm, 8A, 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 is that what I'm using? Yeah. No, that's the text, making it 4B, 4B, 4B. No, seven, seven, seven. I use these <laughs> quite often, so I get them mixed up. Hmm. Maybe it's 4B, 4B, 4B. If I control F and look for 4B, 4B, 4B. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Okay. Sorry about that. Back to where I was here. 4B, 4B, 4B. And I may, yeah, I think we'll do a, a Google font for this. We'll go over how you can incorporate Google web fonts so you can uh, use uh, you know, different fonts for your website that don't have to be installed on the person's computer because you bring them in, uh, you link to a uh, Google web font, allowing the browser to render it that way. So now we have this. Now we have to get rid of bullets, HR, and links. So back up here in our tags that we're styling, I'm going to say uh, HR, and we'll make the border zero. Now let's see what we're left with without a border. Nothing is visible at all. That's because it was just a border wrapped around it. It had that uh, 3D look going on with an empty background. So we can add a background of uh, like red for now and make it hmm, height two pixels or so. And that's what we get, that's nice. So I'll make the background color uh, 4B, 4B, 4B. Wow, I just noticed what I did. And wow, what was that? 4B, 4B, 4B. <laughs> I apologize for that. 4B, 4B, 4B. Okay. Refresh. And there we go, something like that. No, nope, that needs to be lighter. Once again, I'm doing this as I go. Now we have to get rid of the list styles for the uh, unordered list we have. Popular websites, ULLI. Well, we don't have to say ULLI, we can just say LI. Because it's gonna be the only LI within popular, popular websites. And list style is none. Get rid of those bullets. Add some margin to the bottom of about uh, five pixels. I'm just all over the place, aren't I? Control S, there we go. And then we will say popular websites. I cannot type either. Ah. Margin zero and padding zero, zero, zero. There we go. So we're kind of getting the look we're going for. And uh, let's see, are we gonna be using those kind of links throughout the website anywhere else? Mm, I don't think so, so we're gonna to have to make those 
specific to the popular web science class. If we were going to use them in uh, like for the majority of our links, or if we were going to do something like that, then we would want to put those links in their own class. But in this case, they are going to be specific to popular websites. So we can just add the or add a popular websites anchor tag class and do it that way. So I'm going to say the anchor tag, if it is a link, I want it to be hmm, color. Let's go to colorpicker.com. Awesome website if you don't feel like opening up Photoshop or something like I usually do anyway. And let's find a blue color that we like. I kind of like that color. Text decoration. Ooh, thought I was going to sneeze for a second. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Underline. Or no. I think I am going to sneeze. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. There we go. And now we can add add a hover state of like text decoration underline. So now when you hover over it, you get an underline. That's cool, right? Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure. Now let's do something to make it look a little more dynamic. Out here to the right of this, we could try and see how this is going to work. We could float like a view all link or a more link, something like that. So in here, next to the H2 or below the H2, we can say, um, hmm, let's see, what can we say? So I'm going to add a couple classes to this for universal use. I'll come right below the clear fixes here and say, uh, float right and just make it float to the right and then make a float left and float left now in the index here I'm going to say float to the right and right here when I add a class it says float to the left I refresh that. I come inside here and I add some content like uh, view all. And then below this we just add a div class clear div. And there we go. And uh, make this link Something like that. Let's see, let's add a class to this div here called view all. Because we could use that in multiple locations. So it'd be nice to have this uh, ready for that. And I would want it to be, um, let's see, we could have the margin on the top like five pixels. just like a view all so you can uh, view all the most popular websites okay so moving on we have to make the number over here now that big old number that uh, will display how many users are using this toolbar that we're making up and I would say section class is grid 8 and uh, user count And they're going to say, hmm, let's make this a span since it's going to no, it'll be a div because I'm going to have that check content below it. I want to kind of make it block. So I'm going to say uh, number count. That sounds kind of redundant. Yeah, it'd be okay. It'd be 14 billion 580 568. Four, one, three. That's a lot of people. Control S, come here and look, and get that. 
and we're going to come to the style of CSS and say user count and make it margin top 70 pixels a number that's not a property number count uh, see font size and we're going to make it um 250% looks like 400% okie dokie then I make the font weight uh, 700 is that what it is for Arial or 600? 700 that works and make the color 4b 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 There we go. Awesome, awesome. And right here, I'm going to say flow or uh, sorry, text align to the right. Below that, I'm going to add a div with a class of count sub. I am just making up stuff as I go. I'm sure you can tell. People using book. Dot me. So title. People using book me. That's pretty much where I want it anyway. So in here I'm going to say count sub is color of uh, a, 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 a. and the uh, Font size is 120%. There we go. That looks how I imagined it to look. That's always a good thing.